Hello everyone, so today we are going to be making these flappy bird puppets that are really fun. Um, they're really simple to make, so all you need to make them is a piece of paper, some glue, some scissors and some felt tip pens. If you don't have any glue, self tape will work absolutely fine. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and we're going to colour it in. We're going to colour it in however we want, both sides of it, all over. Um, you can do it all in one colour, you can do it in lots of different colours, it's totally up to you. So I'm going to colour mine in and then I will show you what to do next. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do once we have coloured in our piece of paper is we're going to make a square. So, some of you might have seen me do this before, if you've not this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the top corner and you're going to fold it down to the opposite edge like that and then you are going to just fold it down like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut along this line here and cut off this bit and that will leave you with a square. So I'm just going to do that just now and then I will show you what to do next. Because in this one what we're actually going to do is once we have our square we're actually going to make two triangles. So we're going to cut off that bottom bit and as you can see we have two, a big square. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut along this line that we've just made and we're going to end up with two triangles. We're just going to do that just now. Like so. So once we have our triangle like this, or slightly smaller triangle, we're going to fold it in half again to make another triangle. So this is going to be the wings of our bird, like that. We've got the fold along the bottom, that like that. Now what we are going to do is we're going to use the rectangle that we cut off earlier, and we're going to fold it in half, long ways, like much so like that but I have long as and we're just going to cut it down the seam like that now once we have done that what we're going to do is we are going to fold it in half again what's the folding in half today so we are going to fold it in half long ways again so that what we have is kind of like a little um, trough down the middle. Now, we are going to take our wings that we've made and with the seam, we're going to put the seam in there. And we want to make sure that the sloped edge is closer to the front. And then you've got a little bit of a tail at the back, but you don't want it all the way at the front so about there it's perfect and what we're going to do now is we're going to take our glue and we're going to glue it into place so all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the insides of my the rectangle like so and then I'm just going to fold that into place like so and make sure it's all stuck down like that. So that is the start of our bird. Now, we need to do the face. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my glue stick and I'm gonna draw around this rectangle. Actually, I'm not, I'm gonna do it on the triangle. I'm gonna keep the rectangle. So on our triangle, we're gonna draw around the glue stick so that we've got a circle and cut that out and then cut out a little triangle for the beak as well. So I'm gonna do that and then I will show you how to stick it all together and how to finish it off. Okay, so once we have cut out our circle like that and our little triangle like that, now all I've done is colour in, is I just cut the corner off of the triangle I'd made earlier for that little triangle and then coloured the very tip of it in yellow. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my black pen and I'm going to draw a little eye onto my bird on both sides like so, and then all we're gonna do is we are going to stick it to the edge of our rectangle. I'm just gonna use my glue, my glue stick. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the edge there 
and then stick the oh stick the circle on like so and then I'm just going to take my beak and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it and I'm going to stick it on as well like that so that is the shape of our bird now to make the flappy wings what we're going to do is we're going to take the rectangle from earlier and we are you guessed it we're going to fold it in half like so so we're just going to fold it in half and can you guess what we're going to do next yes we are going to cut down the line so that we have two strips of paper like so so once we have done the two strips of paper what we're going to do is we are going to glue them to the like that now there we go we are going to glue them to the middle of our triangle there so i'm just going to use some glue you can use sellotape it's totally up to you um, I'm just going to use some glue. If we're using glue, I would maybe, I'm going to show you, but I would maybe let it dry before we do the next bit, just so that we don't pull it off. And you're basically going to stick it in the middle like that, and you're going to do that on both sides. So, super duper simple. Super duper simple. Like that. And then fold it. Stick it down like that. So that is the start there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our wings and we are going to take our scissors and we're going to cut up the outside of the wings just to make it a little bit flappy. So we're just going to really narrowly in little tiny strips all the way up cut into the back of the wings so that it kind of when it's flappy it will look like feathers which will be really cool. I'm just going to do that all the way up like that see I don't know if you can see yeah like that all the way up to the top and that is us almost finished our flappy bird so once we have done that we only have a tiny little bit left to do and that is us finished so what I suggest is we just make sure that it opens up and just don't bend them fully but just kind of bend them over a little bit so that they can do that so that they're used to making that shape and they should stay shut and then you can hold your bird and you can pull the wings like that if I did it that way then you will see the face and that is our flying bird puppet so I hope you had fun making this and I will see you all again soon